What's up everyone? For those who don't already know me, I'm Romanova, and what I'm doing today is I wanted to give back to the community by showing you all something that inspired me lately, which is the Lambert High School esports team. Uh, they brought me in a couple weeks ago, as well as some other people from our local tournaments, to be their coach, uh, where we just sit down with them, teach them a little bit about like stuff they might not know in fighting games, so that they can improve on their gameplay, and I just thought it was so cool because when I was a kid, I didn't have an esports team or like people I could play like fighting games with like that. And I think it's a great thing for just now and the future for not just them, but high schools and kids everywhere to be a part of something like this. So let's go inside. Hi, my name is Ajax. I run the LHS FGC team. Here are our members. Bruj Salt, I play Soul Calibur 6. Neko plays Blue Hot Tag Battle. Krusty, I play Soul Calibur 6. Toto, Dragon Ball. I hit buttons, Soul Calibur 6. Onigiri, Dragon Ball. Donon 7 8, Dragon Ball. Cinnabon, Soul Calibur 6. Dina, plays Blue Cross Tag Battle. Soul, I play Fighters. Fuck it, DBFC. Dragon Ball um, Fire Z players, and I uh, used to come from Injustice 2. Um, so during my uh, freshman year, uh, I was really into gaming. Um, I played a ton of Call of Duty, a ton of Black Ops, and then in my sophomore year, uh, I met David, and he told me, he's like, hey, you want to join the um, esports club? And I'm like, oh, is it a, does it have Osu on it? Yeah, um, Osu was a really nice rhythm game that I used to play. Um, and they just told me that they got rid of it because of not players, and in my head I was like, oh no, right? So what I really wanted to do is get an OSU team on. So when I joined the FGC team, um, I would collaborate with the um, David, make an OSU team. Fighting games to me is sort of uh, a psychological thing. Um, you know, you get um, worried, you get uh, mad, you get a little salty. Um, but you know, that, that's all the nature of it. Um, for me, things like doing really well in a fighting game, getting a certain combo off, tripping up your opponent, um, that's what I really find fascinating in fighting games. Uh, my name is Alan Kubanko. Um, I'm currently a player for the team, and the game I specialize in is uh, Soul Calibur VI. Okay. I started playing fighting games at a very young age. Um, my first fighting games were Injustice 1 and Soul Calibur 4. I played a lot with my cousin, and eventually um, they made Street Fighter 4 free uh, one summer for Games with Gold. And I'm like, hey, it's free, might as well try it. And I ended up really loving it and connecting with the uh, Street Fighter series. Um, the way I first heard about the esports team, originally I signed up to be an Overwatch player. And I played Overwatch, and I had known Ajax for a while. And he's like, hey, you should come try out for the FGC team. And I always had doubts with, am I good enough? Should I do it? You know, I don't, I don't really play fighting games too much anymore. I'm more of an FPS guy now. But I ended up doing it, and I definitely don't have any regrets because it's something I really enjoy. I, I was in junior year, and that's when I first started playing Overwatch. A couple months after I joined the Overwatch team, I started doing FGC stuff, you know, showing up to practice, playing more games. And as for my plans for the future, after I graduate, I definitely want to still stay connected with the FGC, you know, head out to tournaments, talk to people, watch tournaments with my friends, and just like play casuals and just try to improve as a player and a person. Something I'm definitely really grateful for since joining the team is just like meeting new people, you know. I went through a rough spot in my life where I lost a lot of my friends and you know, just heading to practice every Sunday and seeing people I had something in common with really helped a lot for me personally. So the way that we kind of try to run for our coaches is we have people come in that we've met through either tournaments or that we know that are online in the local area, try to come in for our practices and have run with our players and see what they're doing well. 
uh, tips for them because coming from an outsider's perspective or someone that's never seen them play before, they can see stuff that maybe some of us that play with each other might not see it because some that we're so used to seeing we can help improve upon. And ways that we try to get to them are when we go to tournaments or locals, we just go to people asking them, uh, talking up with them, seeing what their schedules are like and telling them about our club and if they'd be interested in coming by for one of our practices to come help and be like a guest coach and talk with us. So the way that I'm able to balance my schedule because I do, of course, I do school, but I also do marching band and drumline, which has huge time dedication on top of fighting games and having to help manage and run the club or almost an organization by now because it's recognized across the nation for our sport, what we do. I find it where I set time aside for myself and I spend time to where I can relax and I can do what I like to do, where something that helps me relax, like making music, setting time aside for that in my calendar, setting days specifically where instead of going to practice where I would usually not have practice or instead of spending that time practicing, I'll spend that time just being with myself or being with my family and trying to just get time aside so that way that I am doing and working hard that I'm not going to be homesick or I'm not going to be wishing I had more free time because I just spend time, like a whole day of just free time. Uh, I'm Sam, but uh, my tag name is Soul. Um, right now I play fighters solely. Well, Dragon Ball is my first fighting game. It's mostly my first really video game I've ever really been able to play a lot. Um, I got into it because I just saw it and I just kind of fell in love with it. It was just so beautiful, it was so clean. And I love the anime too, so I wanted to make sure that I play characters that I like too. Well, I was first started out as just taking pictures with the camera of the team. Ajax is kind of like my best friend, and so I kind of just went up to him. I was like, just, can I play? I just love it. It looks so great. It looks so fun. I want to be a part of the team. I want to be a part of the family. Well, I don't do well with learning either visually or auditory. I need to write everything down and I need to look at it in order to process it. So I started my notebook just filling it with as much information as I possibly could just so that I could constantly be able to look at it and constantly be able to memorize it and retain that information. Hi, my name is Jackson Crittenden. Uh, I go by Ajax and I run the FGC team at Lambert and I'm also one of the vice presidents of the Lambert Esports Club and the Esports Program. Okay. I actually started in the eSports club on accident. Uh, I was running late for film club and the eSports club was meeting in the same room and they were talking about, oh, we need more games for the system, we need more things to offer to the students. And I had been playing fighting games since I was seven. I played Street Fighter 4, I played Blaze Blue Central Fiction, I played Killer Instinct for however long, and I just loved it and I wanted to share that with people. And I was like, I'll run an FGC team for y'all. And they were like, that'd be great. We need fighting games here. We need something that we can bring as a community bonder because it's Overwatch and League aren't really social games as far as playing with people right next to you and building a community around each other. So yeah, I kind of just started on accident and now I'm happy to say that I'm here. The FGC to me means, honestly, the C means the most to the community. Um, when I was growing up, there weren't a lot of kids like me who liked playing video games, who liked playing fighting games especially, so I always felt like I was an outcast in a group for, you know, what I like to do and how I like to do it and, you know, the way I like to play. So I decided that I would try my best to build a safe haven for people like that in this eSports club because even there, there are people who don't feel comfortable playing or, you know, they don't want to deal with, like, Overwatch toxicity or none of that stuff. Yeah, I just, I wanted to build something that people can come in, play a game, not have to commit to anything, and have a good time and forget their troubles for the week. Uh, so, my name is Travis. I'm the dad of Ajax. And every couple of weeks we host the eSports team here in our house. And uh, I'm basically here to support uh, not only that initiative, but specifically my son. And we do that uh, through a lot of different things. I make sure that he gets to go to events. I make sure that uh, I coach him as far as I can uh, on all of the, uh, all the things that he does. Encourage him to do better every time that, uh, that he falls down on something. So uh, what we've done basically is just, um, you know, have a really good time, you know, doing that together as father and son. And we started building sticks and hitboxes and, things like that, right? So uh, that's really been something for us to bond over as much as it has been to start a business. I always imagined that when I was going to have a son, grow up, you know, he'd be 15, 16, 17, we'd work on a classic car together, maybe something like that. 
Uh, but what really panned out was that he was into esports, and uh, this was just a way for us to begin to bond and begin to work together and begin to share a passion that we both had. Uh, so it turned into something a little more, which is a budding business, and you'll see our our URL up there. Uh, but yeah, so anything you want to add to that? Um, as far as what this means to me, um, it means a lot that my parents are very supportive of this. Uh, a lot of kids at school don't have this kind of support from their parents or even their fellow classmates, so it means a lot. And these sticks are amazing, and it, it means a lot to me. It builds a lot of work ethic for me to work on them every day and be able to show to people, this is what I do, this is what I make, these are the kind of things that I'm proud to say that I have my stamp of approval on. We also do, uh, we also do arcade cabinets. Uh, we'll do pedestals. And we also do uh, full-size cabinets, and they're custom. All of the stuff that we do is custom. Uh, we don't use plans from the internet. All of it uh, comes out of our head, and out of our minds, out of our drawings of what we want to have done and, the, and what our passions are. Uh, and we use high-quality materials. All the stuff that you see inside of our cabinets and inside of our sticks are true Japanese parts. They're not knockoffs. Uh, Brooks boards inside or other things like that depending sand on what the button, sand yes. sticks you have the choice of yeah. circular gates or square gates octagonal gates if you're a European player yeah and we'll carve it you know and, and customize it and do custom artwork and all that kind of stuff to make sure that uh, it's what the customers after uh, so we're, we're just happy to do that happy to be in that space it's a good place for us my favorite video game I've never actually uh, I don't uh, my, my favorite video game was modern warfare 2. Okay. Yeah, that, was, that was my favorite video <laughs> game, good. honestly. Yeah. You can't play that on a fight stick, but... No, you can. You know, I, if I really tried, I tried. maybe. Yeah. <laughs> it was good. But, uh, but yeah, that's my favorite.